Good evening and welcome to Cute Anime Figures TV. I'm your host, Craig, and today we're going to be taking a look at Monster High, Sculpted Mate, Roller Maze, and we're going to be taking a look at Laguna Blue. So here's Laguna from Sculpted Mate, Roller Maze. She looks pretty cool, so let's check out Laguna. So here we are with Monster High, Sculpted Mate, Roller Maze, and today we're looking at Laguna Blue, made by uh, Mattel in 2012, and as you can probably see, um, just like Frankie, Laguna also comes with her roller skates and a helmet as well, and I just want to mention that they don't come with a hairbrush. Um, the Sculpted Mate Roller Maze ones. Well, they do include a display stand, just like every Monster High doll does. And they do vary. <coughs> they do vary between different um, series of Monster High. But anyway, so this is the Laguna Blue. This is actually my first uh, Laguna, and uh, the packaging is just the same. Got a really nice, beautiful picture of uh, Laguna there. Um, really cool. You got the Muzza High Skullet there and the logo. And that. Same thing on the top. Same thing at the bottom. On the back, we've got a read up for Laguna. It says here uh, Laguna Blue daughter of the sea monster and also it's showing you uh, all of the um, Monster High dolls of the others um, also the video game as well Skull to Make Roller Maze I also have it for the Wii um, and the 3DS but I don't have it for the DS yet because I don't know what it's like uh, but I have played the Wii version of it which is fantastic um, and very fun to play as well. So, also um, on here we got the old girls from Monster High. We've got Claudine Wolf, Frankenstein, which is the one I reviewed previously. Um, Abby Abominable, which I also have Abby, and also here's Laguna. Which this is today's review. Here's Operetta. Um, I actually did see Operetta, but I didn't see Claudine. Um, hopefully I can find Claudine and the others. And just as I mentioned uh, in Frankie's uh, review that Dracula is missing from this line. Uh, she's probably absent here, but she's in the movie Friday Night Frights and also she's within the game, you can play as her. I just don't understand why uh, Dracula is not you know, a part of the line, I don't know. Uh, maybe they have made one of Dracula, but I haven't seen her yet, so she could be a wave too, you know, now. And also available, like I said earlier, the game says games hold separately, subject to availability. Um, yeah, it's actually quite hard to get, you know, the game, and pretty much, uh, um, you can pick these up at your local Toys R Us stores, and, um, wherever you can find them. So, yeah, that's Laguna. Let's actually get Laguna opened up, and she comes in the same, similar window box style packaging as Frankie, um, Abby, and a few of the others. Um, I also have a 13 Wishes uh, hair brush here on hand to brush the hair because they don't come with hair combs. That's one thing that they don't include. Um, everything else is included, stand and everything else. But anyway, let's actually get Laguna opened up and out of the packaging. 
and now the packaging is quite difficult to uh, get to open. Um, the tab is very very strange on these uh, ones, so you have to be really really uh, careful. Very very stiff to uh, get it opened. Um, I don't like to tear the packaging. Uh, I actually get that tab. There we go. It's a very very strange tab there. Okay, so um, that let's actually get the in the uh, box. Um, these are much easier to take out uh, than the uh, 13 wishes ones because the 13 wishes they're pretty much held in by um, tabs within the packaging, and these aren't. Uh, these are actually much easier to get out. Packaging than the others. Well, anyway, um, so now we've got that. Um, just like all of the other Monster High dolls, they do actually have um, things holding them in, and that you know tabs and stuff, um, well little ties. And okay, we've got uh, some instructions here, and that, and it's showing you the. Uh, the actual fins can be uh, tabbed out, but I'm going to leave those there. Um, so that's pretty much what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave those there. And on the other side, we've got the uh, stand, and we got the uh, what we got. Oh yeah, the helmet. I nearly forgot then. Um, so it's nice that you get one sheet of. Um, paper that has the instructions on both sides. It's really good. Here she is in the uh, tray and also we've got different things here. We've got the roller blades obviously. We've got the knee pads. We've got the helmet and the stand. Now the stand is very easy to uh, remove and um, like I said um, throughout the uh, previous uh, Monster High uh, reviews, um, including the 13 wishes. Um, I've said before that the stands vary between different um, lines of Monster High um, series, so anyway let's actually get the stand out. So that's that. Um, and here's the clip clip is very different to, compared to um, other ones so that's that Let me stand here also it does say monster high on there can I get a good look at that it says monster high and there's the skull skull it there and also on the side here, on the back no it says side then but in the back it says uh, the tail on there and stuff. And the stand is very easy to uh, put together. All you gotta do is just match up the slot there and match up that and just clicks together like that. And obviously I'll put the uh, this piece on uh, last because um, I'm going to get all the accessories out first and pretty much um, you don't get very much accessories um, with these um, so yeah not many accessories uh, other than the helmet this helmet's very very fancy um, it's got like a fish's uh, fin not like a fin there like a sea monster fin. Really nicely detailed helmet. Very beautiful indeed. With the colour. 
Also, she does have like little things here around her fins. But um, I don't know if she actually has fins on the. Yes, yes, she does. She has fins on the old side of her. So pretty much these are very very easy to uh, remove um, far as the old Monster High uh, uh, dolls uh, go. So I can do all that. She has left on there. That's very strange. She actually has L2 on there. <laughs> Um, just need to get the roller skates out. I need to uh, do that. Doing it from within the um, packaging here is much easier than. Uh, any other one? Now we got these things on the there and uh, what else we got help holding on? Um, oh, we got all these tabs and stuff like that. Um, these are already been dealt with. So it's it's just all these other ones. Um, if you excuse me for a few minutes, I will. Take all these tabs out and whatever there is, um, just stay with that for a few minutes. Um, yeah, these can be very, very pain in the bed. Um, so that's why I'm trying to do this off camera because it is very, very difficult to. Uh, So anyway, I'm trying to get this tab thing. Yeah. There we go. What's that? So I actually got her out. Uh, and there's actually 
little things tabbed in the pair somewhere. Uh, I'll deal with them in a minute or so. Um, also, she does include a um, a card. Can I just uh, get this out here? Yet again, nice background for the Sculpty May Roller Maze. Here's the uh, card, I'll show you that in a few minutes. That. So, pretty much um, the uh, Roller Maze ones are pretty easy to get out of the packaging, um, more or less than others. Uh, just really depends how tied down they are. So, here's Laguna Blue, um, as you can see, it says Laguna Blue there. And on the back, it's showing you Operetta, Frankie Stein, Gulia Yelps, and Laguna Blue. I haven't seen Gulia yet, but I have seen Operetta. Um, you can actually get Gulia in a two pack with Abbey. Um, I know I don't know what the difference is between the two pack set and the ones are you know singly separately. Um, I don't know what the difference is, but I'll probably get to that um, sometime um, if I ever do find them. So yeah, Laguna uh, ID card or whatever, just a little nice card, very colorful. Well. And uh, here's uh, Laguna. I'm just going to make sure there's uh, no uh, things on her. You know, like uh, what do you call it? Any clips or whatever. I'm just going to make sure there's none of that um, loafing around in her hair or, and thing like that. So, be back in a few minutes. Because sometimes there is actually things holding it. I'm just checking that all the tab things are not going to be spiking into anything. Oh, there is some somewhere. Hear me pulling them. Out. Trying to. Yeah, no way. I think I've got it. There's actually tabs and all sorts uh, within the things. Um, that's really cute. Little things on the hair. It's really nice. Very 
cute how she has that hair up like that. I don't know, I found a new one. That's a good one all out. What to do? Okie dokie. So, Alright, everybody. Alright. Just that uh, a lot of them uh, got these things in the back of their head, and it can be very, very sharp. Um, I think I got them all. Yep, I have. Um, I don't know how to uh, take that tape out there. Um, I'm just wondering that. You're not going to see them anyway, that tape within uh, their hair. I don't know, I'm going to leave it. Okay, we've got some more tape somewhere. Um, well, little things. Um, you have to really get things off. Um, cause this is actually a tape that's held, holding things back, you know, like little things. So I kind of meant to uh, mention that. Everything else. In fact, can't hardly see them. So I'm going to leave those the way they are. Um, for Laguna, I'm going to leave them like that because they look nice. Because uh, I can't really see the tape things being a uh, problem. So I'm going to just uh, quick brush her hair like this quickly. Um, She actually has uh, yellow and green hair, by the way. Now, as you can see, she's got some freckles on her face, and she's got red lipstick. Also, as you can probably see, that uh, she is dressed for. Um, you know, like uh, summer or whatever. Um, her articulation, she has elbow articulation and also uh, her wrists are on ball joints. Um, she looks like she's doing the uh, surf sub kind of uh, thing. And also, she's got her hand, uh, and her hand is like webbed like a fish. As you can see, really nicely detailed. Our outfit's really nice. Um, the articulation doesn't really get in the way of anything. Um, she's got the same similar knee pads as Frankie and stuff like that. There's also, um, which is really strange, there's a L2 and a R2 on the uh, arms. I'm I'm not sure why that's on there. I'm not 
entirely sure, but uh, no way, so let's essentially get the um, boots on her, the roller skates, and then we'll put the um, helmet on. So like I did with the U1, I kind of matched, matched them up. Um, between them. Can I get them from... No. That kind of seems to be fair. Both of them together like that. They're actually uh, this uh, greenish color, um, kind of like a turquoise color. So I'll get one skate on and stuff. So the I'm trying to get the roller skates on here uh, without the fins. Oh, there we go. So slid that on uh, really well. First uh, first one that's really slid in. Now yeah, let's try the other one. They are actually rubber. Um, oh. Pull the skirt down. Pretty good, pretty solid. So that's the roller skates, and they do roll. I don't know, like a clip. No. And here we've got the Monster High emblem um, and kind of a light green and red, and red and light green. No the wheels and also we got fins on the uh, boots as well and they're like scaled like a fish um, that. so that's Laguna let's actually get the um, helmet on her and then I'll have the stand piece put on in a few minutes so let's actually um, take a look at that helmet and see which way the helmet goes um, it's got to be either which way, um, uh, what is it showing you? Uh, it's going to, sh it's showing me the other way, so it's going to go, yeah. So which way is it showing me? It's showing me this way. Because, oh yeah, that's the back. And that's the front. Now I get it. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you probably can't tell which way um, goes, really. Um. Strange that uh, I get <laughs> ah there we go. It's better. And as you can probably see, her ears are like thin, got fins on them. Just showing you that. And her helmet really fits on snug. And all we do is just. Uh, Match the tabs for the helmet, like so, just to get the hair out of the way. I know it's kind of awkward. Um, try it. 
them in there like that. And as you can probably see, they're like seashells. And that's, uh, yeah, they're like seashells. So that's her helmet. Um, she looks pretty good with it. And as you can probably see, those things in her hair. Um, I actually just left them in because her hair looks really nice. Okay, so, yeah, the articulation, like I said before, she's got a ball jointed head. Um, she has ball jointed arms in the elbows as well, you can rotate them. Um, if I haven't mentioned before, but her wrists are on a ball joint. She's got uh, that going on there. Um, you can bend her like that way, and she's got knee joints as well. And just like most of them, they don't have any ankle uh, joints, uh, unfortunately, they don't. And she looks really good. I'm actually going to have her like this. I think that's pretty good. Um, don't you? Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Um, just bring her dress down here. Um, it has got like a velcro on there, or whatever it is, um, so you can actually take it off if you want. But why would you want to? Um, I certainly don't. I'm just going to quickly brush her hair because there's actually a lot of um, things here entangled. Okay, that's pretty good. Just a comment on that side here. It's very nice to have a hair comb uh, when you're using these. Building up the most high, you might as well uh, use one of the hair combs from one of the other sets. Um, okay, so which way does this piece go? Uh, all right, it goes there. I'm actually using the instructions, by the way, because since this is uh, similar to the old one, but I like to use the instructions just to get a good idea of which way it goes. Ah, it goes that way. Um, I'm going to on here, and I'm going to make sure that it kind of sits on there. Can I get that to go around her waist? Like that. So, that on there like that. Let's see if I can paint that up. A bit. There we go. So that's that. And we got bring her just down a bit. I have to do that. That's uh, just about it, really. The fins are really nicely detailed. So as you can probably see, um, pretty easy to uh, build. Um, it hasn't taken me that long, uh, long enough to to get everything to put together, but still looks good. Um, just gonna. Just push her hair here. And don't make a mess. See, that's why you need these hair combs because they can actually curl up there. Uh, they don't look too bad. Um, yes, there were actually two uh, little uh, elastics, like two of these little things here holding her hair up, you know, those little things. Um, I can't really see them. I know they're in there, but I'm going to leave them because I don't want to mess her hair up. And she looks good with those little things at the top. 
time for her. So. Anyway, um, the details look fantastic on her. Um, her outfit is tremendously nice. Um, I love the details in her uh, um, helmet with a fin. Right, and it does show you in the instructions um, which way the helmet goes um, each time. So that's pretty good. Right. But like I said um, previously, um, there is always quite a lot of things to uh, clip. Um, you know, when you actually get in them opened up. So there's quite a few things here and there that you may need to uh, sort out. So let's actually uh, show you her off. So each and one of these do come with a green display stand and it kind of looks like it, she's falling backwards uh, but that's pretty much just how the stands are um, and as you can see she looks really good and that's really nice I really love the color of this stand um, it's really light green kind of probably a neon green I suppose um, really light her uh, fins are clear, um, which look pretty good. Um, I think the ones are kind of like a clear yellowish um, tint to them, like translucent. And then some of her fins are really, you know, within her hands are like kind of turquoisey translucent. And that, so her skin is kind of like a dark uh, grey, um, you know, like a fish, you know, type colour. Um, boots are really nice. I love the design of the fins at the back of the skate shoes, um, roller skates. But overall, you don't get very much with her. Um, that's pretty standard with all of them. You don't get, you know, a hair comb and you don't get all these other accessories that some of the others do. Um, it's nice to have different accessories, but overall, it's nice to just to have her in that appearance from the Sculpted Mate Roller Maze. Um, so this is pretty much her appearance in the game and also appearance in the Friday Night Frights uh, movie, which is a double feature with when... Um, why, yeah, why do goals fall in love? because um, it was a double feature with that, you see. Anyway, um, details is nice. Um, for the fins and the roller skates and stuff like that. Um, there's not really much I can say other than the articulation is similar to all of them. They're all basic. Um, at least they do have elbow articulation, um, articulation in the head, articulation in the knees and also in the wrists at least they have that and obviously there's no uh, waist articulation with these um, and no ankle articulation but overall they still got a good motion and articulation and also can move the legs outwards uh, like they're doing the splits or whatever but they are poseable so that's really good um, so let's, shall we go to our final thoughts for, uh, Laguna? Um, she looks really nice, um, I had no, uh, problem of pointing the roller skates on her or anything, um, so let's actually do that, go to my uh, final thoughts. Laguna is probably one of the easiest ones to, um, to build up, uh, actually Frankie was easy as well, so quite easy to build up but they are quite difficult to uh, get out of the packaging um, 
I'm starting to uh, notice uh, quite a lot of things about them, like the packaging, obviously. Um, so, I'm actually going to put the thing back. So there's plenty to choose from from this Gultic May, uh, Roller Maze line. Um, like I mentioned earlier with Operetta, Claudine Wool, Frankie, Abbey and Laguna. Um, I don't know if there's a Rochelle Gaul, uh, Goyle, I say Gaul then. <laughs> Rochelle Goyle, um, obviously she's a Gargoyle. Um, because she was actually in the in the movie and also you can play as her um, within the roller maze um, so I don't know if there is actually a wave two of these or not um, sometimes there is you just don't know you know um, Dracula could have been a wave two uh, um, character a doll So, yeah, let's go to our final thoughts for Laguna, then I'll uh, put her on display. Obviously, we still got Abby uh, to look at. I wasn't going to pick up Abby, actually. Um, I was going to pick her up. Um, I was going to get uh, just Frankie and Claudine, but for some strange reason, they didn't have uh, all of the 13 Wishes ones that I was going to pick up, and that... Uh, but overall, I actually glad that I picked up Laguna and Abby. So I'm always playing as them um, throughout the games. So I'm really glad that I picked them up. Just trying to get this back in. So anyway, um, let's go to my final thoughts. So here I am with my final thoughts for Monster High, um, School to Mate Roller Maze, uh, Laguna. Uh, she's pretty much similar to Frankenstein and obviously the other ones. Um, in within the articulation is pretty much the same. Uh, you get the same display stands because they all match. Um, articulation is perfect overall. Round um, overall. So yeah, um, I can't really say anything much about Laguna. Um, obviously, she is another favorite of mine from Monster High. Um, I spent quite a lot of time uh, playing as her um, swimming because um, that's probably one of her uh, freaky flaws in the um, video game for 13 wishes by the way and I actually have um, had a chance to play as her in Sculpted Mate Roller Maze um, so yeah pretty much um, all of them are very similar to one another uh, regarding articulation and stuff. Uh, the roller blades are actually really easy to put on. I really thought they're going to be some kind of issue trying to put them on, but they're not. Um, so there's no problems with Laguna or Frankie. Uh, I just want to send, mention that um, always check uh, when you're buying, you know, any doll, you know, Barbie or Monster High, always check if there's any flaws, you know, paint splats or, you know, left or, left or right arms, you know, like, you know, if they had two right arms or two left arms or whatever the reason. Always check, um, <clears throat> excuse me, always check um, before you buy them um, from the store 
current uh, stuff. But overall, I'm really happy to have Laguna as part of my collection, and I can't wait to uh, get Operetta because I actually uh, just recently um, played as Operetta and also Rebecca Steam as well um, in the game. I don't know why I mention the other characters when this is Laguna's review, but overall, you know, Laguna is fantastic. I love the design of her outfit and the design of the character, and yeah, um, she'll really go great with uh, Gil, uh, Gil Weber, I think his name is, uh, yeah, uh, which I haven't seen around yet, which by the way, uh, that's Laguna's uh, boyfriend. Um, but yeah, definitely check out Laguna Blue from the Monster High uh, Sculpty Mate Roller Maze line. Definitely uh, check out all the previous reviews on Cute Anime Figures TV, and uh, there'll be plenty more Monster High reviews very soon. And I'll see you guys very soon. Until then, take care. Hopefully, you enjoyed the review. I certainly enjoyed uh, taking a look at Laguna Blue. And her uh, in her roller skate outfit, uh, it's good to make roller maids uniform. Um, I can't wait to find out a little bit more about the others and that. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. So until then, thanks so much for watching, everybody. And here's a quick display video showcasing Laguna Blue on display, along with Frankenstein on the Scott Mate roller maids series. Until then, take care. If you got any questions or comments, please let the comment below in the comment box. Tell me what you think of Laguna Blue. Or if you have the Skull to Mate Roller Maze video game, tell me what you think of the game. Um, I think it's fantastic. Um, i played it several times and I just enjoyed it throughout and I just can't wait to play some more of it. So, until then, take care, everybody, and I'll see you guys very soon. And the detail is very, very nice and really accurate to um, the actual design of them. So, until then, take care. So, here we are with Laguna Blue from Monster High. Um, Scultimate Roller Maze. Yeah, Skull to me, roll me, so uh, as you can probably see, she looks pretty good, and obviously, as you can see, the stands do match, um, same as the 13 Wishes ones, they really match, and as you can probably see, I have two Frankensteins on here, which one's the 13 Wishes, and the other one's the Skull to me, roll me. Um, can't wait to get more of the Roller Maze ones. Um, I do have Abby. In fact, this is my very first uh, Laguna Blue, so really, really cool. And she does look beautiful on display. She does fit in really, really well. So that's pretty much all of them on display. Um, I also have Abby, and then. Um, a few of the others to put on display, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you're a big fan of Laguna Blue, and if you're a big fan of Monster High, also a big fan of the uh, uh, Skull Team Roller Maze a video game, definitely check out and highly recommend picking up uh, Laguna Blue. Also, I recommend picking up uh, Frankie as well to go along with her. Well, until next time, take care, and I'll see you guys very soon, and thanks for watching. And that's just about it, all I've got to say, and they all look great on display. Can't wait to get more of these. Until then, take care. They'll look really, really cute on display. Until then.